hi, my name is Guy Edwards and I'm one of the Anglican priests in uh, the parish of Bushy. And Lynn from Bushy Festival has asked me to say something about spirituality and well-being. Oh my word, I thought to myself, that's going to take a long time. But then I thought, no, you can do this in three words and you can make it very practical. So buckle in, pin your ears back, and I will give you my three top tips for well-being and spirituality, all starting with the letter H. So here's the first H you need. It's this stuff, humus, H for humus. It is peat or compost or leaf mold, something like that, decayed vegetable matter. And for your spirituality and well-being, you need to get your fingers into some of that and grow something. So here are some lupin plants which I raised uh, a while back and which are now going out into the garden. So I've dug some humus in and I'm going to pop that in there and just firm the soil around it like that. And humus is important. Growing things is important because it helps us to know our connection with the earth and it's important because our spirit and our bodies and the life of the earth are much more closely connected than most Westerners would uh, really think about. So it's no surprise at all that in the book that uh, Christians and Jews share as a holy book, the Old Testament as, as we call it, uh, the very second story is about a man who God puts in touch, in charge of a garden. So that's H for humus. And of course you don't need a garden as such, you can grow things just on your windowsill. There's some chili plants that I grew on my windowsill uh, earlier this month. And uh, you just need a little bit of soil and a flower pot and some seeds. The second H for well-being and spirituality is H for humor. So, do something or find something that makes you laugh. Look at a child, watch them play, or look at a kitten and watch them play. If you don't have access to a child or a kitten, then you can watch the telly and every night at about 6.30 or say there's Harry Hill and you've been framed and there's all kinds of ridiculous things that will make you laugh there. Now I know humour can be mocking and cruel and derisive as well, so humour's not always good, but I like to watch stand-up and a lot of stand-up comics are great because what they do is they draw you into a story about something that they're doing, uh, some way they're interacting with people and their thought processes, uh, which are paranoid or uh, really selfish or whatever it is, and then suddenly everyone in the audience at the same time realises that, that they also are like that. And there's this little spiritual epiphany which we call laughter, this release of endorphins in our brain. And that also, I think, is a spiritual thing because it pricks the bubble of earnest self-importance in which so many of us live so much of the time, especially clergy. So this piece of furniture on which I'm kneeling is called a prier dieu and that's French, it means a pray to God. And as you can see, what this does enables you to kneel down. And that speaks to us of the third H that I want to say something briefly about, which is humility. And kneeling is uh, a posture of humility before God, uh, a posture of recognising that God is God and that we are not. And any spiritual tradition worth its salt, not only Christianity, will tell you that what you do with your body when you're trying to pray or to meditate is really, really important because, again, uh, our spirits and our body are linked together in a wonderful and uh, multifaceted uh, and extraordinary way. Of course, there's more to, he to humility than just simply kneeling. Uh, and in Christianity, we have the tradition called contemplative prayer. Actually, I find it very difficult to kneel for contemplative prayer, so I'm going to go and sit in my 
meditation chair. You can use any chair which has a straight back. And what you do in Christian contemplative prayer is that you have a sacred word. For most Christians, that sacred word is probably the name of Jesus, but you can choose uh, whatever is appropriate for you. Uh, it may be joy, or it may be love, or it may be thank you, or it may be yes. Something that uh, expresses your intention to connect with that fundamental spiritual reality in which we all have our being. And what you do is you quieten down, you straighten your back, you put your hands in your lap and you practice getting over yourself. You say your sacred word silently to yourself. And in a very short while, you will notice that you're thinking about something else, that quarrel you had with someone or uh, an anxiety you have about the future or something you're intending to do tomorrow, something you mustn't forget, whatever it is, and uh, you then recognise that's happening and you go back to saying internally, quietly to yourself, your sacred word, and you do it over and over and over again. And what that is, is a practice of humility. Uh, it's often called meditation. And every spiritual tradition has a form of meditation. And so I'm, I'm bound to think that although there are different concepts and different words to do with this, that actually the great religious traditions are onto something here. And that the humility of contemplative prayer or meditation, of recognising that God is God and you are not, is a really important practice. Humus, humour and humility, or gardening, laughter and prayer. Three things that you can do which will help you to cultivate your spirituality and will certainly help you to be well. So God bless you and go to it.